Hi, this is problem six from the 2017 AIM. A circle is circumscribed around an isosceles triangle whose two congruent angles have degree measure x, and two points are chosen independently and uniformly at random around the circle, and a chord is drawn between them. The probability that the chord intersects the triangle is 14 over 25. Find the difference between the largest and smallest possible values of x. Okay, let's draw this out. Looks like we have a circle circumscribed around an isosceles triangle with uh, base angles x. And that specifies the arc length around this circle. We have an arc length of 2x, 2x, and 360 minus 4x. Now we're trying to place points around this circle and trying to figure out if the chord drawn between those points intersects the triangle. And we know that the probability that they intersect is 14 over 25. And I get the sense that it's probably easier to calculate the probability that the chords do not intersect. So if the probability that they intersect is 14 over 25, the probability that they don't intersect is 11 over 25. So let's calculate that instead. So let's look at the case where the first point lies along the 2x segment, then the probability that that point with the second point will not intersect the triangle is 2x divided by 360, the probability that the first point is within this region, times the probability that the second point is also inside that region, and that's just the square. We can do the same calculation for the probability that the first point is in this region times the probability that the second point is in this region. And that's just 2x over 360 again squared. And the probability that the first point is in this third region times the probability that the second point is also in this third region is 360 minus 4x over 360 squared, and we know that that probability that doesn't intersect is 11 over 25. Okay, so it looks like we need to solve for x. There are probably two roots, and we have to find the difference between the two roots of this quadratic. Now I notice we're carrying around this large number 360, and that's gonna get a bit messy. So let's do a variable substitution here to knock down the size of these numbers. Let's solve for y is equal to x over 360, and then we'll plug it back in once we solve for y. So that uh, makes things a little bit easier. We then have 2y plus 2y squared plus 1 minus 4y squared. It's 11 over 25. Expand this and bring some terms together. 1 minus 11 over 25 is 14 over 25, and that's equal to 0. We can multiply by 25 and divide by 2. Let's try to keep the factors out. Hopefully we can do this without making a mistake. Minus 100 plus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, we have to work with this quadratic, and we know from the quadratic equation that the difference between the two roots of this equation are given by b squared minus 4ac over a. So b squared is 100 squared minus 4 times a times c over a. We can pull out a factor of 100 outside the square root. That leaves us with 100 minus 4 times 3 times 7 all over a. This is 100 minus 84. So this is the square root of 16. That's 4 times 10. That's 40 over 5 squared. 4 times 3, 4, 5 drops out, that's 2, 15.
that's the value of the difference between the roots in terms of y. To get the difference in terms of x, we have to multiply this by 360. So the difference in the roots is 215 times 360, and that's equal to 48. Final answer. Hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye.